Simple But Awesome here, and we are ready to go into the next level of the caverns. And this is really, really dangerous. It's time to be Indiana Jones. Ah! Okay, I guess it's not time to be Indiana Jones. And it's time to be Miley Cyrus. Just kidding, but it is time to kind of be more careful than I was saying as before with the whole um, thing with um, like Indiana Jones. And right now is not the time to be Indiana Jones, and it is time to be Pitfall Harry, the more careful Indiana Jones. And it is also time to kind of be scared of these eyeballs, because they're like floating around, and they're kind of scary, I think, sort of, kind of. <laughs> okay, fine. They're not actually that scary, they're just giant stone things with levers in front of them but the place that we're gonna go to in front of us is actually quite hard and you have to have deadly accuracy and by deadly I mean deadly because these things can kill you and you need to run like really fast cuz if not then you're down for the count and that would happen I'm lucky to like just run away but I think it's time to sing a song everybody eyes eyes everybody everybody eyes cuz I is everybody everybody has two eyes and I did not mean to do that and I did not mean to do that either. Trust me. Oh, but yet it respawns us up here. And we are ready to go in the next level. And I did tell you in the last episode, part 10, that there will be a temple in the caverns. And we are ready to head on. And it's pretty obvious what we're going to turn into. Because look ahead of us. A scorpion. So we all know what we're going to turn into. Last time we turned into a monkey, there was a monkey on the side of the side. And now we're going to turn into, you guessed it, the crazy bug. We're going to turn into a scorpion. Okay, so now I'm a scorpion. And you can sling your stinger like that. And yes, like any other boss, um, it has four help. Yeah, that's the face. That's totally the face that a scorpion would have. If it were a man, it looks so sinister and scary, and his lip would be outward, like he's some sort of bully and meanie. Uh, press one for a hint. Shake the Wii remote to sting Harry when he's stunned. I bet we already knew that. And now it is time to go to Harry and sting. And run, because he takes out his shield and he tries to kill us. And once we get um, three torches lit, then that's the end of us. And we have to get Pitfall Harry when he's stunned once again. This is a pretty um, adventurous boss fight that takes a bunch of skill. And you have to be really fast and figure out the pattern that he's doing. And it rumbles your Wii Remote a lot. Like, a lot. More than any other boss in the game. It rumbles your Wii Remote a lot more. So, if you don't like being, um, shook up, then you might not want to... You might not want to play this game because there's a lot of, um, rumbling. Or you might just want to turn the rumbling off on your, um, Wii Remote. And now I'll take it out, too. Now I had to... Light three torches so we can escape. And that will open the door that leads to the artifact. And that's right over here. 
once again, we see it light out, out, um, at the end of the tunnel, and we assume that we died, but yet... Okay, we are um, to, on the outside of the Scorpion Temple, and we are going into the area that was open for us. And whatever these things are. Oh, they're, they're like little fire things. <clears throat> no! That was a total fail. But now we are ready to run and fail and jump off so that we can respawn right... What? I didn't respawn at the top! I guess that's okay because I didn't even need to use the rope, I just realized. And I could just go all the way back to the beginning and climb up the stairs and I'm already over there. How could I not realize that? That's... I'm, that's, I'm just... Oh no. I'm just so weird. told me everything. You're here looking for your deadbeat dad. He was no deadbeat. Oh yeah? Then where is he? Why'd he put himself in harm's way when his first responsibility was to his family? You don't know what you're talking about. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, my dad was a loser too. Nothing you've said has made me feel better, Harry. I'm leaving. Nikki! That's what my dad called me. You don't know me well enough to call me that. There's something I've got to tell you. What? What I said, I'm sorry. Listen, if he's alive, I'll find him. I've been following his trail. I think there are more clues in that temple east of here, but I can't get in. I'll do it. I don't know the meaning of the word can't. Then you'll probably need this. Hey, St. Clair's still prowling around. I had a run-in with him and his guy, Puska. I think that guy's some kind of shaman. You wouldn't believe what I saw him do. Really? Wait for me here. Uh-uh. I'm not stopping till I get in my temple. Think you can keep up with me? started to fall for me. Then who could blame her? It was pretty obvious when she gave me her prized pickaxes. I promised to help her find her father, so I headed off to explore the snowy mountains. Well, um, we have obtained a pickaxe, and now um, we are ready to go on and um, go to the top of the um, mountain overlook. And we will try our best to find the snowy mountains um, on the other side of the world. Well, not the world, but the jungle. But yes, we are also, um, so what we're doing now is we're backtracking. And remember, like in part three, I said um, that, yeah, in part three, I said that when we got to the shaman, that at some point later in the game, we would need that. But I haven't told you when. I forgot to. But this is when. When you're backtracking from the caverns, on the abandoned cavern, you know what? I'll just do that. Aw, fail. But that was awesome. I was like parkouring at the top. And then I would just grab onto this. But um, there is a point later on where you would actually need to... Um, it's... um. 
in the abandoned cavern, which is where we're about to go, that's when we need this attack. Also, we need to kill scorpions, which is why it's most useful in the caverns. But I think the end of the episode was what is when we backtrack from the very um, from here to the very beginning of um, the caverns when we get outside of the waterfall. No, I fell, but that's okay. There's a Pokemon. Porcupine trying to kill me. And I'm trying to dodge every single attack this guy has, kinda. No. And I'm trying to jump up here. And this is where you need it. You need Smash Strike to get through here. And there's no other way to get through without Smash Strike. So, if you don't have Smash Strike by then, I think it's just very, very, very um mean of the directors to do this but yes they made it um where it's impossible to get to the area that you need to go to and it's impossible to advance in the game without a move that a shaman gives you so if you're on a no shaman run you'll never finish the game so if you don't ever use a shaman you're in for a treat being stuck right here at the caverns Believe me, it happened to me once, and I never finished the game. But now, it's time. Time to make it up here. And time to run for our lives. And time to fall down. But there's a little area over here with a um, idol. Try your best to sink down the sinkhole, and there's an idol right here. Take out your torch, and you realize there's a hole right here to get out, and you um, can make your way out. And you just got a random idol in the middle of quicksand where you would never think it was. And. Actually, I think the end of the episode would be at, um, with when we finish backtracking from here. In order to, um, backtrack from here, we have to run as fast as we can using heroic, um, dash. Make it up here. And do a bunch of heroic, um, things from the heroic handbook keep on going up and then you would jump up here and jump over here and make it over to the underground dam the beginning of it And that'll be the end of today's episode.